One of the moments of the playoffs so far comes before game three of Oilers and Ducks. Check this out, the Oilers fans, such great hosts. Let's sing it together. Oh, so. The mic stops working, the fans jump in, and the Ducks, they must have been pretty inspired by this. Less than a minute in, Ryan Getzlaff springs Ricard Raquel, and oh, just like that, it's one nothing. Take another look at this. How did he get on that breakaway? That's Andrew Cogliano, peels to the near side of the bench, and at the far end, that's Raquel jumping onto the ice. He heads in on the breakaway, just like that, one nothing. just 25 seconds in, still early first. Leon Dreisaitl, uh-oh, turns it over, Hampus Lindholm puts it towards the net. Adam Larson can't clear that loose puck. Jacob Silverberg, he stuffs it home, 2 nothing for the Ducks. Midway through the period, Darnell Nurse, oh no, can't wrap that one around. Ryan Getzloff says, thank you very much, walks in. And he snaps that one, high glove on Talbot. The Ducks, they jump out in front. Three to nothing, under a minute left in the period. Oilers gotta get something off the draw. Chris Russell, point shot. It's gonna take a deflection before it goes off of Patty Maroon and in. The Oil, they have some life, down by two after 20 minutes. Just a buck 28. Into the second, they keep on coming. David DeHarnay is going to throw this puck out front. It goes off Anton Slepeshev, and then off Shea Theodore, and then trickles over John Gibson. It's 3-2. So now it's time to cue the captain. Up the boards, didn't get it out. McDavid stops up. What a move, shoots, scores! Absolutely amazing. With the great one in the stands watching, I can't help but think of Wayne Gretzky with this kind of a cutback. The magic of McDavid. 3-3 tie, his third of the playoffs. That is a sweet, sweet goal. We're tied at threes, but under a minute later, oh, talk about having the air taken out of the arena. Chris Wagner throws it on net, and oh boy, just sneaks under the arm of Talbot. Ducks. Back out in front, it's 4-3. Back comes Edmonton, though, three-on-one rush. Leon Dreisaitl to Patrick Maroon, but somehow, oh, John Gibson makes the sprawling stop. Johnny Bernier is just saying, wow. Still in the second on a delayed penalty. Andre Sekra unloads the slap shot. Check out Gibson. Stretches just enough to get a piece of that. 4-3 for Anaheim. Heading into the third, five minutes into the final frame, Josh Manson finds Silverberg, and Silverberg snaps that one home, his second of the game, but, oh, wait, hang on a second, the Oilers are challenging for offside. Take a look at the top of your screen, it's Silverberg. It's pretty close, but we got a good goal. The Ducks, they're going to add one more as they take game three, 6-3. The six goals for Anaheim tie a franchise postseason record for goals in a game, while the loss for Edmonton snaps a four-game playoff win streak.